What's going on everybody, welcome back. And we're doing a quick video today on the Strike Industries T1, T2 riser mount for your rifle. And I know it's red and it's a lot of red on there, but this is going on my 78 GMC truck build, my old uh, C10. So if you like trucks like that or anything that's old when it comes to that classic American steel, go ahead and give this video a like. So now that you know why I have this thing in like flaming slut lipstick red, kind of explained a little bit of that for you. And I really wanted to do a build, kind of match that truck, just have a little fun with something. So I'm gonna have a few things coming for this. A lot of it's gonna be strike industry, some ballistic advantage, some aero precision stuff, because I'm just a huge fan of that and what they are doing over there. And I wanted to kind of do like an initial video just on this and my thoughts on it, because doing a full video on this, which will be done later, it's just long and not everybody wants to see the whole thing. They just wanna get the information on these smaller parts. So for my T1, T2, or anything that uses that mounting style, you're probably aware that mounting options for that, if you wanna go with something different than what the manufacturer sent you, which is usually one of those big block brick looking things, they can get expensive. Now, some of these T1, T2 style mounts and other mounts for aim points and other optics like that can get well over $200. Not everybody's gonna have that kind of disposable income for everything they're gonna buy, especially when they're building something for the ground up and it maybe is not just that one rifle they're gonna use, it's just something that they're gonna have to be like an extra. Now, some of you out there may want a lower one third or an absolute co-witness, and we'll talk a little bit about that when we get up close to this thing. And this will give you that option to go between lower one third and the absolute co-witness because there is a time and a place for both. Depending on what kind of gear you got up front here, you know, if you're one of those long neck gooses out there like myself, you may need something just a little bit taller. We're gonna go ahead and get into this thing and show you what it's all about and give you those specs on it. If you like what's going on here, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Make sure you give that video a like. We're gonna get into this Strike Industries mount right now. Let's go ahead and step into this T1, T2 riser from Strike Industries here. I'm just doing overall and then we'll get into the specs on it. So you can see it's a very clean looking design here. You got a little dimpling in there to give it some kind of texture. Machine work is solid. No real sharp, hard edges on there. It's very sleek, good profile. It's been skeletonized to an extent. There are some that are far more skeletonized than that but they did a good job on this thing. So you kind of see right here, you've got the marker of absolute. Uh, that's good, I guess, if you're kind of new or you don't know what you're working with, you know you have the absolute. And then you've got some white writing down there as well, which is just kind of the patent information, all that. On the opposite side, you'll have that Strike Industries logo, and then it will say absolute over here as well. You have a steel clamp and a steel screw, which is good because you do not want to put a steel screw into aluminum. You can cause galling and eventually just ruin the mount. So talking about those specs, 2.3 ounces, not bad, could be a little lighter. There are others lighter, but there are others also far more expensive than this one. 6061 T6 aluminum, which is good stuff. Uh, you got that steel mounting hardware in there, avoid that cross threading. It's anodized. So you've got, I think the red flat dark earth, you've got that titanium gold looking and black. If you don't want something that is this Gucci, which I completely understand. Let's talk about what it comes with now. So this is the box. Comes with everything you're gonna need. It'll come with Loctite, it'll come with your wrenches, it'll come with your longer screws right there. And then it will also come with that additional plate should you want to do the lower one third, which will go up under there and you'll know you're running a lower one third. It's got your typical T1, T2 mounting in there and the machine work is just really solid. So you can see in there, no imperfections on it. The coating is very, very nice. They did a good job on it. It's not a bad little optic mount at all. And I gotta say, I'm happy with it. And uh, it does come with a Loctite, but I've already used it. So I don't have that available for you to see. So one last look at this bad boy before we finish this up, because now we need to talk about the price, the options, and you know, is this gonna be good for you? So this is just a good looking mounting option for you out there. And it comes in like right around 45 bucks. You've got a couple of those color options out there, the flat dark earth, the black, the red, and like that uh, gold, if you're into the gold member thing. So that's good. The, uh, the work that Strike Industries has done to it is good. It appears to be machined quite well. It's good quality aluminum material out there. I don't foresee myself having any problems with this. And I haven't had any problem with any other Strike industry stuff that I've tested since I've been doing this the past two years. So it's a quality part. It's very budget friendly. What's the kick in the pants, right? 45 bucks when others are 200s. It's not made in the USA. So some of Strike Industry stuff is made in the USA and some of it is not. Uh, what I would say to a lot of people that say, oh, we wanna buy American made. Well, you know, your optic that you're throwing on there, like this Vortex, your Hollow Sun, uh, you know, your SIG optics, even your aim points, they're not made in the USA. So if that's your complaint, then, you know, buy an EOTech or one of the optics that's made in the USA. 
Other than that, yeah, I, I wish I could buy everything made in the USA too, but the difference between $45 and $200 for one of those cool, uh, you know, like Scalar Works mounts or something, it's a big difference and not everybody can afford that. And there's been times in my life when I couldn't even afford to spend 45 bucks on a different mount. So I understand that out there from both aspects, you know, wanting to buy American, but you know, having to sacrifice sometimes to get what I want or what I need based on the price. Then of course, all of you might not be into those Gucci colors. So black is an option, but like I said, this is for my truck, that red one, and I call it the slut because it's a little trashy, it's a little loud, where's the wrong lick stip when it goes out in public, so that's just kind of how it is. If you guys like what's going on here, go and hit that subscribe button for me. If you guys get out there, have some fun. Remember, this is not a practice life. Go out and enjoy it. I will see you guys on the next one.